Good evening. We will hear from the child and his mother in moments. And they recall the terrifying moments in their Jamestown Crescent neighborhood. CTV's Tracy Tong is live at that scene. Tracy, as one veteran officer said, it's a miracle this child wasn't hit. That's right, Ken, because police say more than a dozen shots were fired toward this walkway behind me. There's a unit in this TCHC complex that sells candy and snacks, and that's where this eight-year-old boy was headed when he had to duck for cover instead. This eight-year-old boy had just gotten money from a friend and excitedly darts across the street to go buy some candy. He seems unaware of the white SUV that had just pulled up. You only see one shooter, but police say there are two, and they're firing a hail of bullets in the child's direction. I heard a loud bang. I turned around. I seen a guy in a black hoodie walking up the hill, so I ran quick. You can see the young boy running to take cover in an alcove. So that's when I got scared. And then I ran, I was, I was just breathing in, and then um, out, so they, and then they left. It's a miracle that this young boy wasn't struck. Police found 15 shell casings at the scene of the shooting, which happened around 9.30 p.m. Saturday on Jamestown Crescent. They believe this man, seen crossing the street just moments before, could have been the intended target. It's very outrageous that this has taken place in our community, that people have a total disregard for human life, for children playing in an area, and it speaks volumes about the amount of guns that are out on the street. This area has seen so much gun violence that neighborhood kids have made a game of hiding from black SUVs. It's a game that the child had been playing with about six other kids just before the shooting happened. Like all black cars, we used to think that because we used to think they're trying to be stealthy. But what does this say, the fact that they play this game? It's, they have to, it's survival, but that's not a game to be played either. It's, you know, but what could you do when you live here? Like this, and I seen the line, so I knew it was a shotgun. It's not the first time this young boy has witnessed a shooting. Nobody should go through this, regardless of the age, but then... An eight-year-old having a traumatic experience like this. But his mother says she hopes it's the last. Now, police have not yet determined whether this was a targeted or random shooting. They are now looking for at least three suspects who fled in a white 2010 to 2011 Toyota RAV4. They're also hoping to identify the man they believe was the intended target. Anyone who has information is asked to contact Toronto Police or Crime Stoppers to leave an anonymous tip. Reporting live in Rexdale, I'm Tracy Tong. Back to you, Ken and Michelle.